everybody and welcome to Sustainability YXE. My name is Tracy. I'm with the Saskatoon Public Library and Saskatoon is located on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. In the Saskatoon right now, fall is in full effect and that means leaves are everywhere. And it might also mean that you have some extra yard work to do in the form of raking. And my question to you today is, what are you doing with all those leaves after you've raked them up? Because unfortunately, every year, tons and tons and tons of leaves end up in the landfill. And there's something really strange about these leaves falling naturally from trees, only to be stuffed into plastic bags and carried off to the dump by the millions. Not only is it kind of strange, it's actually bad for the environment. Because when the leaves and other organic materials end up in the landfill, they can't decompose properly. And instead, they end up releasing methane gas, which is a harmful greenhouse gas, and creating a really nasty garbage fluid known as leachate, which is not only gross, it's very toxic and harmful for the environment. So why not use the leaves that fall in your yard in some way instead of throwing them in the trash? Think about what happens in a forest. When leaves fall in a forest, they don't get raked up, right? They stay there. And it's great because it ends up forming a natural blanket for the soil, which helps protect it from erosion, helps to retain moisture, and as the leaves properly decompose, they end up enriching the soil with lots of nutrients, which provides food for the existing plants. And you can take advantage of these same concepts in your own yards this fall. Here are three ways you can manage leaves in a more sustainable way. Number one, mow. If you're not a fan of raking, you don't really have to. If you run over the leaves on your lawn with a lawn mower and leave the shredded pieces, they'll break down over the winter. And this will provide the soil with nutrients and suppress weeds. If you do this about once a week until the last leaves have fallen, you likely won't have to rake a single leaf and your lawn will look great next spring and summer. Number two, mulch. If you go one step further and collect the shredded leaves from your lawn rather than leave them there, you can use them as mulch in your vegetable gardens, in your flower beds, and around trees and shrubs in your yard. Mulch helps to retain moisture in the soil, helps to maintain a consistent soil temperature, and helps to stop weed growth. As a bonus, as those leaves break down, they once again enrich the soil with all sorts of great nutrients. A lawnmower with the bagging attachment is a really quick and easy way to collect those shredded leaves. Number three, compost. A small amount of dried leaves is a really useful source of brown materials for your compost heap. Alternatively, you can compost leaves separately and you'll end up with something known as leaf mold, which sounds kind of gross, but leaf mold is actually an excellent soil improver, lawn conditioner, and potting mix ingredient. The city of Saskatoon also has some options for you when it comes to managing your organic waste, like leaves, in a more sustainable way. Just head over to saskatoon.ca, click on Waste and Recycling, and you'll see a tab for Organic Food and Yard Waste. Here you'll find information on the city's Green Cart program, as well as how to use and access the city's two compost depots. There's also some great resources on home composting brought to you by the Saskatchewan Waste Reduction Council. There's how-to guides, videos, and info on attending composting workshops. And of course, the library is an excellent resource if you are looking for some more information on any of the techniques that I have talked about today. The library has some really great guides on organic gardening. For example, we have No Waste Organic Gardening. This is by Shauna Coronado. This is a really, really excellent resource. There's all sorts of things in here. Um, composting, on leaf mold composting. And beyond that, there's sorts of things like how to collect gray water, 
how to repair your own garden tools so you're not always having to buy them, how to manage pests in an environmentally friendly way. There's all sorts of things in here. Along the same lines is Organic Gardening Techniques. This is by Mick Hamilton. Again, tons of information. Big section on mulching. Big section on composting. What you can and can't put in your compost heap. That sort of thing. And then again, lots of other tips and tricks for you as well. And the library also has whole books devoted to composting itself. So this can be the thing that seems the most daunting, takes the most commitment, but books like this will help you see that it's not so bad and there is a style of composting for you uh, no matter what your living situation is. So this is the Organic Book of Compost. It's by Pauline Pears. This is the second edition and we also have the first edition. They're not that different, so if one's available and one's not, they're kind of interchangeable. That's just a small sampling of the resources available at the library. You can check out the catalog online at saskatoonlibrary.ca or you can come on in and a friendly face will help you find the materials that you're looking for. That's it for this edition of Sustainability YXE. I hope you're able to try out one or more of these techniques for managing your leaves in a more sustainable way. Thank you so much for joining me and happy raking. Bye-bye.